Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Fold. Guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can navigate to a Lightning Web component by generating its own URL. Previously, it was not possible and it was recently announced in Salesforce Summer 24 release. So previously, the way we had was either we can include it in an Aura component by embedding it or we can include it in an application and navigate to that application itself. But in this video, I'll show you how you can create a URL addressable Lightning Web component so that it can be navigated directly using its own URL. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right guys, let's start today's video. Uh, so first let me show you what we used to do previously when this update URL addressable was not there. So if you're following my blog, then you must be aware I have created a video on that as well, where I have used uh, the navigation using the embedded Aura and application, right? If you're not following my blog, guys, this is one way to follow it, right? Whatever the new updates and uh, latest enhancements are coming, I'll be uploading it on my blog. So make sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel as well. So this was my previous blog where I have mentioned like ways to navigate to a lightning web component. Here I had one example where I have showed here uh, two ways uh, to navigate to LWC. One is using the Aura component and another one is without the Aura component. So in the code in the JavaScript, I'll quickly show you. So to navigate it with the Aura component, you need to have an Aura component first and then you need to embed your Lightning Web component in it. That was the only possible way to navigate to a Lightning Web component, okay? And that using same navigate mixin, uh, you need to have your Aura component name here and then you need to navigate it using your Aura. Another way was to, gen to have an application, one app uh, application here and uh, using that application, you can pass the encoded definition of your lightning web component and uh, that is the code block related to it if you need this example as well uh, i'll be adding this link in the description of this video and that was the output if you will see here so here i was having two buttons navigate without aura component and navigate using aura component so these were the two ways or i would say work around because its functionality is very, very basic. Now it feels like it should be there from the beginning itself. But anyways, we are having it as a summer 24 update with the latest release. So with the latest release, guys, you are having capability to directly navigate to another Lightning Web component using its own URL. You are having ability to make your Lightning Web component URL addressable. I'll quickly show you a demo of it. So here, in my Salesforce org, I'm having one component, which is the source component. And uh, here I'm having a button using which I'll be navigating to a URL addressable component without using Aura, without using the application. Okay, now if I'll click on this button here, so it navigated me to another component, which says I'm the target. And uh, I have also passed a parameter from my previous component, which was the component name where I have mentioned the component name here. So I'm the source and source is the previous component. So in this video, I'll show you how you can make your Lightning Web component URL addressable. Let me go back and quickly move to the functionality. Okay. So this is my destination component. Let me show you the source first. Okay. So in the source in Meta XML, I'm just making it true. It should be available for Lightning app page. In HTML, I'm having one Lightning card just to give it a good UI. And another thing I'm having is just a button here, which is having a function which says navigate to LWC URL. And here I have used the same navigate mixing guys that you might be using earlier as well if you used to navigate using Aura or one application, okay? So here you just need to pass the name of your component uh, using the C prefix. If you're not having any predefined namespace for your uh, or you can use the C namespace here. So C underscore underscore destination, which is my component name. And also you can pass the state, which are basically parameters, which will be having key and value. So key would be the name of the parameter, which should also follow the same namespace of your org. If not, by default, C is going to be the default namespace. 
and the value needs to be a string value only okay so for example in this component i have just passed one parameter which is source and in value i'm having my components name here so that's it that's all about the source component okay now the main configuration we need to do on the target component so on target component i'm having one texture and the target javascript empty and this xml file where we will be doing most of our updates so first we'll update the xml file first you need to make sure that your component is exposed is true okay so by default it will be false if you need to make it url addressable you need to make it true after that you need to add a target here okay so we'll create targets and this time the target is going to be lightning url addressable so by having this in target you are making your component url addressable okay now we'll move to the uh, javascript file so in javascript file now you need to make some update to get the current page reference and parameters from it so for that what you can do is you can simply import current page reference okay from lightning lightning navigation okay now in your javascript class you need to wire this current page reference so i'll quickly copy it from here and paste it here okay and I'm binding the result in current page reference parameter here okay now I'll add a API value here which is basically the value that I'm retrieving from there so let me name it source value and I'll be having a getter here for the source value to bind its value okay now whenever this page is loading we need to check the current page reference we need to check the state in there and using the state we'll be getting the parameter okay so here we can simply return this dot current page reference dot state dot c name space underscore underscore source my parameter name okay so this is the code now we'll go to html and here we can have I am the source and we can bind this parameter so my bad not this one we need to bind the source value parameter here so these are the only updates you need to do to make your component URL addressable by do, by adding this target you're making it url addressable and if you need to get some parameter using the current page reference you need to add this current page reference and using the getter values you can get the current page reference dot state and uh, the value using the c namespace there okay so that was the overall functionality guys uh, for this uh, url addressable lightning web components let me quickly show you the output once again okay we will deploy it refresh this is my this is my source and on the click of it it will navigate me to the another component which is my destination component and here you can see the result i am the target i am the i am the source okay the source name is coming here so the target is coming from this source basically okay so that's how you can make your own lightning web components url addressable uh, to generate a url to navigate to these components directly okay so that it is for today guys if you need the complete code i'll be having the complete code as always on my blog which is salesforceworld.com you can simply go to my blog once this video is live and also for this specific previous blog i'll be sharing link in the comment section below if you need to check the old school ways of doing it please refer this blog so that it is for today guys if you like today's video or uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching